Hello friends, so today we can discuss another problem from the latest binary search series I'm working on. So till now I have covered two videos on that and you can check my channel for those videos and in those two videos we have like looked over at the first type of binary search problem in which we have to find out a particular value in the whole array of vector which is given to you. But there is also a second type of binary search problem in which there are monotonic functions which is given to you. So in those type of problems, how to approach this? So this is a very easy and also a good problem to understand those topics. So the problem name is first bad version from lead code. So as you can see, it is also an interactive problem in which you are given that you are a product, product manager and currently leading a team. So like you are working on a product and unfortunately the latest version of your product fails. So, okay. So as you can see, I also draw, draw it out. So as you can see, let's assume that you are working on some project and it, maybe if you have used github then this problem will become more easy for you let's assume that you build some project okay so this is a true project like this is the true means that this is a correct project do you do some update on this and this is correct then you again do some update it is correct but then you again do some update but like maybe the code crashes but you do the update so this is a false product but you do some update now on this false product you again do some update so now if you again do this, do some updates on this false product, then also the next product will be false. So it will keep on going on false, 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 false. I hope you get my word. So it's a monotony function such that before a previous value, it is true. And then as soon as I hit this point, it will become false. Okay. So that's how you can search for a problem in which it's a monotony function. So now you have to get that there is some API, which is called is bad version in which if you insert the version so if you want to check that the this is the first version second version third version fourth fifth and sixth if you want to check that whether the second version of the product i'm building is correct or not it will return true that it is correct if you like insert or ask the api whether the fifth version is correct it, it will return false that this version is not correct so you have to turn out the first you have to return out or make a function to find out the first bad version you have to find out this the index of this Okay, and you have to do as in the minimum number of API calls as possible. So in this problem, as you can see, it follows the like monotonic function property. So you can just do binary search. So in this type of binary search, in which there is no mid value, no mid value means that in mid in such type of problem in the first type of problem, I have already made two videos. You have a particular value you are finding out, but in this you have some range. This is the range. Okay, so in this type of problem, what you'll do, I'll tell you how this is the low pointer and this is the high pointer left and right. Then you find out the mid value, which is mid of left and right. So this is six. This is one. So mid is six plus one divided by two, which is seven, like 3.5. So it is three. So I go to this index, which is true. So it tells that, okay, I will check whether this index or the, uh, like actually the product at this version is correct or not. This is correct. This is true. So it means that this is true. So I am finding out actually the first false version. So if this is true, then it, it can be a case that all the previous version will be always obviously will true because this is the true. So there will be some false and then there will be false product, but before true, all of them will be true. So this cannot be a possible answer. Okay. But let's assume that I now I'll shift my left to this part, which is mid plus one. Okay, so my left will become equal to this point. Remember that in this type of questions, my left will go to mid plus one. As you can see, okay, because mid doesn't actually store the answer. Okay, but now let's assume that now our mid is this, which is four. Now I find out the next mid position, which is four plus six divided by two. So as you can see, it is five. Now I go to the fifth position and check that this is a false position which what does this mean it means that this is a this can be a possible candidate this can be the first uh, like version which is bad i don't know this can be a first bad version but i don't know so what can i do i it means that this can be a bad version but the bad version or this cannot be the first bad version there can be also some bad version before this there, there will be obviously bad version after this but there will be some bad version before this also so whether as you can see in this, I have made my left equal to mid plus one, but in this case, I will not make my right equal to mid plus one, but I will make my right equal to mid. Why I'm doing this? Because see, I have already checked on the middle value and middle value 
can be a possible candidate it is not see in this type of scenarios i have already made and checked that my middle is not the possible answer my mid cannot be a possible answer that's why i have made my left excluding this point which is mid plus one i have excluded this answer from my window but when i move my right pointer it is possible that this mid can be the final answer we don't know because we are not searching for a particular answer false is a particular answer but not the we are searching for the first value of for this range so this can be the particular answer or not so in this we will not make our right pointer equal to mid minus one because if i make my pointer mid minus one then i'm actually excluding this point which is wrong i should include this point in my window again so i will make my right equal to mid and when i move from left i will make from mid plus one so how you can do such type of problem whenever you do or find out some in in like monotonic functions the best strategy is you will make two pointers left and right and you will check the middle value if the middle value is correct you will not keep track like you will keep track of the middle also you will not jump over the middle what i mean by that is if the middle value is false then i will make my left plus one but if my middle value is true then i will make my right pointer equal to the middle value not mid minus one because if i make mid minus one i will exclude that point from the window i am searching for so i hope you get my point so that is the simplest logic for this problem i will take it out to the code part now to even make it more clear this is a simple very like three four line code so in which i will make two pointers one which is just starting because the even the first product can be bad so the the range for this binary search will be from one till n because there are n versions okay so i will do the same uh, the template i have shown you for the binary search you can also check out the versions or like videos i have already uploaded in this video or like in this series so as you can see i am using the same uh, like function which is while less than r i am finding out the mid value which is l plus r divided by 2 and then i am checking that for this mid this mid version whether this is bad or not so i will use this api which is is bad and i will send the version so i am checking for the mid value if is bad if this means that whether the uh, like this api will return that this is the bad version or not if this is a bad version the api will return down true if this is a bad version what i will do this is a bad version so i will not exclude this i will move my right pointer equal to the mid value but for else i will make my left equal to mid plus one and in the end my answer is always on the left pointer okay so that's the one more logic in the end my left pointer will actually always point to the starting value on which i am looking or looking or looking for so that's the whole logic for this uh, like uh, binary search problem uh, i have like already explained three easy problems now i'm going to make videos on the medium problems and then hard problems so stay tuned on this series i hope you get the gist of this problem if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye